it is really easy to study for theory exams but studying for practical exams is just as complicated let's as always start with my favorite subject that is surgery in surgery i use two practical books that i think helped me a lot one of them and the most important one and that i think that you all should buy is as thus i had to bind it because it has a very poor binding but keeping that aside manual of clinical surgery by as thus is considered the god manual for surgery i personally found it a bit hard to follow through it has a lot of theory and in a storyline format there are no heading and subheading so uh, i am not very good at these kind of books but still it's a very good book i read it up until the final day of my final year practical exams in as thus there are a total of 40 cases mark all the important cases that you saw in your ward and read only those cases now i personally think the procedures that are given in as thus are not that well explained and why doing practicals on the patients is a bit hard to understand and do it so the next book that i refer to is manipal manual of clinical surgery it is also an equally good book but i used it only and only for um understanding the procedures and not for the theory in this book there are small boxes called clinical discussions these help me a lot and uh, there are other boxes called clinical wisdom uh, the tricky questions in the viva are usually from one of these boxes and also in this book there are case profiles directly written so this book is more of a spoon feeding type of book and i think you will love it if you try it Well, there goes surgery. The surgery practicals include one long case, one short case of surgery, one short case of orthopedics. Now, where to study for orthopedics for practicals? I have no idea. So please ask someone else. Now, for X-ray specimens, instruments, and procedures, the God book that I found, and thanks to Anuj because he told me about it. and the name of that God book was Vipul Yagnik. If you are going to pass surgery with flying colors for practical exams, you absolutely, absolutely have to buy this book. I don't have the book I use PDF version of the book on my iPad and I think it will help you a lot especially for operative procedures and instruments the next thing that I am going to talk about is the worst subject possible for me that is medicine for medicine everyone tells you to read kundu there are other books like algappan but my most favorite book was uh clinical medicine by bolo sir again i have the pdf of the book in my iPad in that uh book the clinical medicine by bolo it is given flawlessly all the differential diagnosis all the procedures to do all the gradings all the possible questions that i asked and of course it is written by bolo sir so no one can question it now the standard book for practical is hutchinson i read hutchinson but i was saying that it is not something that will stick in my brain so my whole final year i was referring to clinical medicine by bolo and i think that was enough to do good in my medicine viva now this book that is bedside clinical medicine by kundu has cases written in it and along with the cases there are questions and answers that are usually asked in the viva so if you are someone who has a viva in 2 days or 3 days this is a book that you should be reading reading this book in question answer format will help you answer questions faster in viva so these are the two books for medicine that i will suggest you again x rays ecg etc is given flawlessly in clinical medicine by bolo so you don't need to refer to any other book now there are a few topics like stroke of course ecg um some x rays that are hard to understand so i suggest you to follow white army youtube channel that channel also has videos by bolo sir himself so it will be very easy to understand and there are a lot of clinical case presentations done by the students in front of the teachers so you'll get a vibe of how viva works and where they ask the questions and all the general things so make sure you refer to the channel it is not sponsored so this is something that i feel go ahead if you want to the next thing that i want to talk about is pediatrics our unit in charge in pediatrics asked me to buy this book santosh kumar this book um again has all the cases with question answer and explanation and again it has spoon feeding that they have given sample cases as well the best part about this book that i thought was the pediatric case sheet examination of newborn history taking general examination growth and development and the disorders etc are given as a separate section signs and symptoms in general examination as well as each system is given as separate section so this book made my pediatrics a lot lot easier so i think you should refer to it too now this book will not be that helpful for instruments for pediatric instrument as well i will suggest you to go for medicine and for uh, things like grains cereals eggs and calories and stuff and vaccines and drug dosing go and read psm because psm is very helpful especially in that section and you won't need to relearn it as you have already learned it in third year 
so that is all for pediatrics now the last book that i want to talk about is obstetrics and gynecology this is a god book that i accidentally found when i went for my biochemistry quiz and i came second and this was a book that the um, that was a prize for me and let me tell you this book has helped me immensely just go buy it and read it you'll understand again it has cases along with questions along with extra h part so you will not miss it and some things like labor how a cesarean section works etc is given as a separate section so you'll understand it much much better it's for obstetrics it's for gynecology it has instruments specimen imaging spotters spartographs etc so your whole obstetrics and gynecology will be covered in this book how to read a book you know how reading book works just take the first page and start working on it now i think it is very important for you to know that please attend all the clinical postings and take as many cases as possible i took around 20 to 30 cases of stroke now that case has become a part of me and my brain so it is not at all hard for me it is easy and it is better to make mistakes when you are in posting rather than making mistakes in the university exam because university exam can cause you to fail but postings is an opportunity to learn it will help you interact better with your patients as well as your teachers and it will help you sharpen your skills for example hearing the murmurs doing the babiski sign etc etc now keeping that aside what if it's just one week left for the exam and you need to revise it as fast as you can that's when manual for practical examination by pratik patel and samartha thakkar comes this is a book that a lot of people will not like especially the teachers but for medicine and for surgery this book is very good revision book for practical exams so you can try reading this as well that is all the information that i wanted to share about for practical exams i have already made a separate video about how the practical exams work and how my practicals went by so please be sure to check about it this is abhijit signing out thank you very much for sticking by and please subscribe to me for more such videos bye bye